In order to enhance blood circulation and maintain such effect for a long term, whole body care treatment is essential. Hue Light's whole body photobiomodulation chamber helps with reproducing capillaries and enhancing blood circulation over the whole body. Inside the whole body PBM chamber, particular wavelengths of light penetrates deeply into the whole body. If particular wavelength of light is irradiated to a tissue cell, an enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase in the mitochondria absorbs the light source and activates ATP synthesis. In this process, nitric oxide production and reactive oxygen species are produced as the byproducts, leading to enhanced blood circulation and increased immune system. In addition, the after effect can even be boosted with the seven level programmable Nogier frequency care settings based on the symptoms. From just 10 minutes to 20 minutes max, the blood circulation would immensely improve and the problematic areas in the body would begin to enter the path of recovery. The fact that so many diseases, including chronic illnesses such as high blood pressure, low body temperature, diabetes, cardiac infarction, hyperlipidemia, peripheral nerve disorder and stroke, as well as cancer and autoimmune diseases, all have correlation with the blood circulation and that the blood circulation also play a part in effective hormonal circulation have became a common sense. Generally aforementioned chronic illnesses are treated with long-term drug treatments. Hue Light went on a journey in search of fundamental natural healing solution to stop from becoming so dependent on the drugs for cure. So we researched various PBM technologies and many primary medical devices that claim to have a correlation with the blood circulation. As a result, we have discovered that only PBM therapy that uses specific wavelengths of light can enhance the blood circulation without any side effects and within short-term treatment. Photobiomodulation has been appeared as a major keyword from 2016 as a future treatment method in the medical subject headings of the research papers published in the U.S. National Institute of Health. We have researched the effect of concurrent treatment of both the whole body PBM and the molecular hydrogen inhalation. We have compared the differences in the outcomes after treating patients with solely whole body PBM therapy versus treating patients with both whole body PBM and the molecular hydrogen inhalation therapy at the same time. In the result, we were able to conclude that concurrent whole body PBM and the molecular hydrogen inhalation therapy has a significant synergistic outcome. In that process, we have discovered the standard inhalation amount of the molecular hydrogen should be 1,200 cc of two-third hydrogen and one-third oxygen gas per minute in order to be effective. Therefore, the whole body PBM therapy and the molecular hydrogen inhalation therapy should be done together to gain faster results. For more information on the molecular hydrogen inhalation therapy, search molecular hydrogen inhalation therapy on the search engine. The wonders of modern medicine make it easy to believe we enjoy longer lives than at any time in human history. But we may not be that special after all. People commonly say that the average life expectancy increased over the time. However, life expectancy displayed on the statistics is calculated as an average. If you have two children and one dies before their first birthday but the other lives to the age of 70, their average life expectancy is 35. Back in the past, the life expectancy was lower than now because so many people who died at their early ages from malnutrition, drinking contaminated water, infectious diseases, and wars. Taking these into account, if compared to 200 years ago, did the absolute life expectancy of today increase? Historically, there are many ancestors who have lived to 80, 90, and even 100 years old, few hundred years ago. Modern medical fields in the ER, diagnostics, and surgical areas have immensely advanced. However, treatment methods for the chronic illnesses caused from poor daily habits, drug dependence, adulterated foods, lack of exercise, and polluted environment have been a standstill over the years. Therefore, only the life expectancy of the modern people increased while there's no significant difference in the health life compared to the past. The world's rapidly changing after the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. The society demands healthy immune system. The immune system in our body is our doctor. If we help our doctors to do their jobs right, we would become healthier.